Okay, today we're looking at power functions and essentially a power function is the simplest type of a polynomial function and it has the following form. It has the form of f of x equals 2a times x to the power of n. So this means that a is any coefficient, any real number, x is a variable, and then n is a any whole number. That means n cannot be negative, um, because if it was negative, we would be dealing with something completely different. And by now, we're all familiar with what, what with what a power function is. So you can be think you may be thinking of quadratic functions, cubic functions, right? Uh, for example, x squared, x cubed, two x squared. So examples such as these two that are over here. So just a quick. Um, review, we can say that, for example, this function over here is a power function and it has a degree of 2. We know it has a degree of 2 because we look at the highest exponent. That's what indicates the degree of the function. So the highest exponent here is 2. So this is a quadratic function, has a degree of 2. What is the leading coefficient? The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the greatest power of x. So for this one, which one has the greatest power of x, this term over here, and what's the leading coefficient? Well, it's not written there, but we know that the leading coefficient is 1. Okay, let's look at the next, next example here, what the degree of this function is. We look at the highest exponent, that's 3. Um, so this function, this power function has a degree of 3, the leading coefficient is also 3. Um, and that's um, that's what we need to know for this. Now, let's uh, look at some examples here. So you have this on your handout. Uh, example 1 says, example 1 says, uh, determine which functions are polynomials, state the degree and the leading coefficient of each polynomial function. Alright, so let's look at this first function. Is it a polynomial function? yes or no. You may want to pause the video now and maybe try to figure out by yourselves, but uh, we can say that this function is not a polynomial function, is not in the form of um, that we mentioned before, f of x equals 2 axn is not in that form, so simply cross, cross it out. So we can say it's not a function. Okay, not a function. This in fact is a trigonometric function. We'll see more about that. Alright, trig function for now. I won't spend too much time on those. But this one. Is it a polynomial function? Is it in this form? Let me write it at the top as a reference. Is it in that form? Yes. Okay, so let's start answering those questions. Let's state the degree of the function. Okay, so the degree of this function is... The degree of this function is... 4. So let's write down 4 here. What is the leading coefficient? Let me just write down LC to indicate the leading coefficient. Well, the leading coefficient here is 2, is quite obvious. And, and that is all what they're asking us for. Now, let's look at the next problem here. We have C and D. So you may want to pause the video now and see if you can figure out the answers. Um, all right. Now, is this a polynomial function? Yes or no? Yes, it is a polynomial function. What's the degree of this function? It's, well, that's the highest exponent, so we know it's 3. And the leading coefficient in this case happens to be 1. And this one, is it a polynomial function? Looks very similar, but the truth is that it isn't. It is, in fact, an exponential function. We'll see more about that later on.